Instagram stories? I'm playing with it, I'm making my first story right now. It's a wait and see. I think it's important. Unexpected but exciting. Instagram stories suck. Instagram stories? What do you think is the biggest thing I can bring to them? I would say personal, how, Thank how you, you so much. develop Thanks. your market, your personal brand, I would say, how you communicate with your people, right? So even if I go, like at least that's how I saw it in my paper, it's such a, I love when it's a smaller room to like yeah. do as much cute, like I wanna give them, I can pontificate forever, but giving a direct answer is always, you know, mm -hmm. inevitably in a size like this, that guy's question is what 80% are right. thinking as well. Yeah. You, you mentioned it earlier briefly. When you hear when you hear insurance, positive or negative? Right, alright, so exactly. Can everything that you're laying out for us work? Change that in the midst of a public that's got a negative No, not <coughs> unless there's whatever the biggest insurance organization in America is, the mothership, unless they spend a new money. You need to spend 10, 20, if you want to change America's perception of you characters, you need to spend tens of millions of dollars. All right, take care, my man. Yeah, I gotta go. See you later. Take care, guys. See you guys. See ya. See ya. Woof. I think we got real practical with them. I love how you just did the half hour and turned it to Q&A and... That's where it got better. made it about them. Yeah, 100%. this is what they want. That's 100%. what they want. Patient. Now I have to go to LA now for another conference. Awesome. Thank you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Instagram stories? Instagram stories? My thoughts are the same as any time a major platform makes an update, copies a feature from somebody else, adjusts to what somebody else is doing. It's a wait and see, right? Like, I don't have, I don't actually have many emotions or thoughts right off the bat. I'm more curious of watching people interact with it and see what happens, so it's early. I think it's important. I've mentioned my concern about uh, Instagram's uh, positioning in the marketplace not too long ago. I actually think Instagram's in a weird, vulnerable position. I don't like how they're getting squeezed right now between Snapchat and Facebook. Like Facebook has its generation and just Snapchat's eating up too much of what Instagram had. Um, and so, uh, unexpected but exciting. I think it's a smart, fast follow. Um, and we'll see if it clicks. I think a lot of times Features are, are big plays. I think when Instagram did video, because Vine was out there, it, in essence, really was a big deal. This, I'm not so sure. Snapchat's a much bigger player than Vine was at that point. We'll see. Let me just meet this guy real quick. Give me one second. Hey, my man. Right, this, is, this, this, is, this has been like two years in the making. What's up, big man? Please come. It's gonna be the best talk here. I'm dropping the best talk. 2.30. I'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you, man. Good luck to you. You've done some incredible things. Thank you, man. Yeah, and you stay very humble, which I think is so critical. I think so too, man. man. I, I appreciate that and it's funny. You know, when on stage, my Almost ego, my yeah. ego goes, but in real life, you know, it's funny, on camera, on stage, my ego goes, but in this, yeah. my humility goes. Yeah, yeah. You know? that's the most important thing. I think so. Right? Who the fuck am I? Yeah. Like, I know I've done well. There's many other people have done well. Like, I, the other thing is I genuinely like people, yeah. which... Yeah. is a massive to, Yeah, to, to cut to the real chase, that's the saving grace. Yeah. Like, I genuinely like these people. Yeah. Thanks for the invite, man. I just got in this morning. Yeah, no, sorry, I, I actually didn't even, I checked your snap after. Dude, congrats, 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 that's fucking insane. I can't believe you couldn't even, you guys gave me a little preview. It was only two, dude, wow. Hello, gang. Hello, gang. Is that the Zan man? 
Hi, Mushi. Hi, Dwa Dwa. I love you, Mushi Brains. I love you. Bye, Mommy. Love you, Mommy. So here's my new feature for Instagram stories. I'm gonna give you guys screensavers once a day. My new screensaver is up next. Now let's keep using the functionality of this amazing thing, D-Rock. Anyway, message me right now if you're using the screensaver. What up Snapchat? Would love for you to go check out my Instagram story and love to get your two cents on it. Instagram stories suck. <laughs> same, the same fuckers that loved Instagram 11 months ago and were like Snapchat is bullshit are literally gonna say Instagram stories are bullshit. Snapchat's the best. Same characters. <laughs> They hate that change, D-Rock. They hate that change. I love that change. Because it's inevitable. You know, I'm playing with it. I'm making my first story right now. Uh, first of all, I think it's a very well-made product. It, it's very intuitive, even the first or two go-arounds. I think that's always important, having intuitive products matters. I think the UI and the UX of where they put the stories is huge. They're just unmissable. So it's super intuitive, it's a very well-made product. That's important, that's number one. Next, um, it just comes natural and I usually, I usually do, things don't come natural to me usually, so that was actually a good thing. Two, I'm fascinated by the UI and UX of the product where the most recent five or six are the ones that show up before you start sliding, which I think is gonna induce a lot of people to create often, to gamify it, to be one of those things that is always there when people open up their Instagram. So I think that it has the potential to create uh, a lot of activity early on, uh, which is probably gonna be important. And three, I would say that anybody that thinks that this is gonna kill Snapchat is completely out of their mind. That's an incredibly no chance statement. And I would also say that, um, Let's not forget that Instagram's already had success, I think I said this in the video, with fast following Vine and doing video and that pretty much killed Vine. There's no shot of killing Snapchat, but I do think it, there's a shot for people that have been able to build big audiences on Instagram and have not yet built big audiences on Snapchat. This may create a scenario where they won't try to create big audiences on Snapchat and that alone is a win for Instagram. Yeah, it won't kill. It won't. It won't. It, it won't kill Snapchat because Snapchat's too big. That's all. It's just too big. It's too much. Too many people have too many audiences. There's too many people that use it. Plus, there's a lot of people that won't give Instagram a shot here because they think it's a copycat play, and out of the emotion, they'll be like, "Oh, screw that." I mean, what this is gonna do? What Snapchat taught us is there's a place for content that is not that serious. I think Instagram became like a museum, and Snapchat became like your conversations. And I think that. What this is gonna do for a lot of Instagram celebrities, content producers, media companies, brands, is allow them to produce a lot more content for Snapchat. There's a lot of people on Snapchat that are way too fancy and only post one or two things and they have to be perfect. This is gonna give them that ability to not be as perfect, which will make them create more. All these things start off as something it could have any niche that the next big social network's gonna start off with some niche, some feature, build critical mass, and then just become a content platform with every option of every way to do it. Got it? It's one of the reasons I'm surprised that Snapchat has not started doing live yet. I just think it's inevitable. Eventually, snackable content, evergreen content, and live content will be the cost of entry to be a modern day massive social network. Boom! Uh, let's call it my two cents on Instagram stories and its impact on business. I think that Instagram got too fancy. Like you can only post it's once not a day. Anymore. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's authentic. It's the authentic version of your like most prized content of yeah. the day. Again. Good to see you again, brother. Hello. There you go. How are you? How are you? Hey. How, How are you, man? Hey, Laura. Hey. How are nice you? To meet you? Nice Hello. to meet you. Hi. What's up, man? My name's Ankarino Laura, founder okay. of this moment. Very nice, man. Real pleasure. I could never stand by the door and say no to people. I'd be like. Just sit on the fucking floor, like. D Rock, you should go outside and get all the disappointed patrons. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. 90 minutes? This is gonna fucking be awesome. I'm super pumped. And the thing that I really tried to think about was okay, if 
we're gonna have such a distinct, different group, people coming from music and art, and, you know, entrepreneurship, marketing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about some themes that I think really bring the most value across the board, uh, and then I wanna open it up. I mean, I think you know, 95% of this room should be giving a presentation as well. So, <clears throat> the one thing I decided to talk about was attention. Uh, I think what I've done really well for the last 20 years of my life is reverse engineer attention, usually buy it at an underpriced, Attention, attention. That was set up, you all looked. You all looked. Do you know how hard it is to like riff for 90 minutes? And the thing is, as you know, like I think what's interesting about how I do it, I think, this is me actually asking more of you a question. I feel like I constantly have a library of three hours worth of content. And just being able to rotate. And just like there's always some mix of it, right? I think the most important part Synthesize the room. You make it feel like it's for everybody. Yeah. So it's for him or her. Yeah, I'm think I'm good at that. I know that 95 to 98 percent of you, when you hear the term social media, think of it as something in the appendix, an afterthought, and more importantly, probably for 80 to 90 percent of you, something that has zero impact on your money. And the way I look at all these platforms, very simply, is as gateway drugs to interpersonal relationships.